if they say you base everything, if your emotional is high, then your rationality is low. So when your rationale is high, you are not easily being manipulated. That's why things have to be objective, not subjective in nature. What makes you turn into a Muslim? Because uh, before this, I was Buddhist, and then after that, I studied about religion, try to find who is God. And then through study different religion, I found the concept of God taught in Islam is very logical for me. Then I choose Islam. Logical? Yes. I thought you said spiritual. Because this is God, this is, should be in the spiritual realm, it's not in the, in the logical realm. Logical realm is you can reason it out, you can think of it, right? Yeah, that's because why, this is yeah. spirit, you cannot think of it with your, with your mind. Because yeah, of course, it's spiritually, I believe in it, but of course, at the same time, there should be some evidence for me to believe in that. Because it, let's say it's spiritual, someone can tell me, I'm God, you, need to, you should follow me. So the question is, why should I follow you? What I mean is your subjective experience. Yeah. Everybody, God is only one. Yeah. Right? Okay. Maybe a Muslim or maybe a Christian or maybe Chinese or Buddhist, whatever. God is only one that we believe. Huh? But in order to understand God, you need to have to a spiritual experience. The, the, the experience. Huh? When I talk to you, when you speak to mm. me like this, it's only an objective experience. But when you have the subjective experience, uh, that is different. Subjective means that God is speaking to you. But sir, I mean, if they say you are saying, I mean, sorry to interrupt, but if they say you say subjective experience, right? Now, the Hindu will say they have their subjective experience. The Buddhist will say they have a subjective experience where they talk to their God. So how do we evaluate which is the truth? Yeah. I mean, God, God is not subjective. God is objective yeah. being. Uh, yeah. And if they say we base everything on feeling and emotion, sir, I mean, psychologically, it tells you that if they say you base everything, if your emotional is high, then your rationality is low. So when your rationale is high, you are not easily being manipulated. That's why things have to be objective, not subjective in nature. Because how do we know, like for example, sir, if let's say people say, okay, God talk to me. How do you know that's God? Yeah, that, this that's is, the first question. This is a question, okay? Let's say I give you a glass of water. Okay. You look at it, wow, very nice. When I say very nice on it, from the outside, you look at it, very nice. But you have to drink it, oh, that is very uh, nice. But, but drinking the water, nice or not nice, is subjective, sir. Because it might be nice for you, it might not be nice for somebody else. But objectively, we cannot, both of us cannot deny that glass of water is the water. Yeah. But either the, the water is nice or not, it's subjective. For you, you might think it's nice. For me, I might think it's not nice. Exactly. The water. That, that is subjective. But objectively, we cannot deny that it's a water. So we have to come to the objective conclusion that what is God before we talk about God speak to me. Right? Because many people talk about God, God, God. Like for example, sir, I believe that you are Chinese too, sir. So we are exposed to Chinese culture that, okay, this is God, this is God, this is God, correct? I mean, with due respect, yes, but the bigger question is, okay, what makes this God as God? Why He is God? Objectively, we want to understand. It's not that we want to criticize, but we want to find the truth because life is about finding the truth. Yeah. If anyone can bring me the truth after rational discussion, not debate, rational discussion, I'm someone who follows the truth. For me, truth matters. Because and truth have to be very <coughs> objective. It cannot be based on subjective, experiential.